Hi guys, welcome back this week. I hope you had a nice weekend with your family and I hope that everybody got to go to church yesterday. I know for me it was really, really good to get to worship with our church and to um, listen to our pastor just read from, he read from the book of Matthew and just spoke the words of Jesus and it was um, really encouraging to me. And so I hope that for your mommies and daddies, that was an encouragement to them. And that this time that we get to spend together is also very encouraging for you. Um, we are nearing, we are getting closer and closer to Easter and Holy Week. And I'm super excited about that. And today's Bible story is called The Singer. Wherever Jesus went, lots of people went to. They loved being near him. Old people, young people, all kinds of people came to see Jesus. Sick people, well people, happy people, sad people, and worried people. Lots of them worrying about lots of things. What if we don't have enough food or clothes or suppose we run out of money? What if there isn't enough and everything goes wrong and we won't be all right? What then? And I tell you, friends, I think that a lot of the adults, um, in this world today are asking those same questions. What if, what if, what if? There's a lot of people that are really afraid right now and they're asking lots of questions and a really great way for us to feel better about our questions and to look for peace about our questions is to give them over to Jesus because really he is the only one that can fulfill all of these things for us. Um, and he's already taken care of it. He has a plan already, and he's figured it out, even if we don't know it yet. He's already figured it out. So it's really good that all of these people were trying to go to Jesus to find the answers for these really hard, scary questions. When Jesus saw the people, his heart was filled with love for them. They were like a little flock of sheep that didn't have a shepherd to take care of them. So Jesus sat them down, and he talked to them. The people sat quietly on the grassy mountainside and listened. From where they sat, they could see the blue lake glittering below them and little fishing boats coming in from a night's catch. The spring air was fresh and clear. See those birds over there, said Jesus. Everyone looked. Little sparrows were pecking at seeds along the stony path. Where do they get their food? Perhaps they have pantries all stocked up. Cabinets full of food. Everyone laughed. Who's ever seen a bird with a bag of groceries? No, Jesus said. They don't need to worry about that because God knows what they need and he feeds them. And what about those wildflowers? Everyone looked all around them. Flowers were growing. Anemones, daisies, pure white lilies. Where do they get their lovely clothes? Do they make them? Or do they go to work every day so they can buy them? Do they have closets full of clothes? Everyone laughed again. Who's ever seen a flower putting on a dress? No, Jesus said. They don't need to worry about that because God clothes them in royal robes of splendor. Not even a king is that well-dressed. They had never met a king, but as they gazed out over the lake, glittering and sparkling below them, the hillsides dressed in reds, purples, and golds. They felt a great burden lift from their hearts. They could not imagine anything more beautiful. Little flock, Jesus said, you are more important than birds. The birds are the flowers don't sit and worry about things. And God doesn't want his children to worry either. God loves to look after the birds and the flowers, and he loves to look after you too. Jesus knew that God would always love and watch over the world. He had made everything in it, birds, flowers, trees, animals, everything, and most of all, his children. Even though people had forgotten the birds and the flowers hadn't forgotten, they still knew their song. It was the song of all God's creation had sung to him from the very beginning. It was the song people's hearts were made to sing. God made us. He loves us. He is very pleased with us. It was why Jesus had come into the world to sing. Them, that wonderful song, to sing it not only with his voice, 
but with his whole life so that God's children could remember it and join in and sing it too. One thing I love about the timing of this story in the Bible and the time of year that we're reading it is we, the birds are coming back, right? They went to warmer places over the winter and the buds on our flowers and on our plants and on our bushes and trees are starting to bud and bloom. And we're able to see that real picture of how God is clothing them, these brown sticks and the, the dark bark and brown in our yards is getting clothed with beauty of leaves and flowers. And the birds, we can hear them singing and we can see them all around us and they're making nests and they're doing all the things that God created them to do. And so it's so exciting to be reminded of he provides for them and he takes care of them. And we're reminded that we are his most treasured, most beloved creation and how much more is he going to take care of us? I love you so much. Um, I hope you are keeping, continuing to illustrate in your Lent devotions, and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Have a wonderful day, sweet friends.